Hey guys, welcome to another Crash Bandicoot 4 walkthrough. This is level 8, Booty Calls. So here I'll be running it, getting the Insanity Relic, and I'll be showing you everything you need to do to get all the boxes and everything. So you want to bounce on this box and get a box above just to make sure you get that. See, to me it was not worth it to try and fight these octopuses. It's way easier just to jump over them and continue on with your level. So to the left here, if you make it here without dying, there's your flashback tape for the round. Okay, so you want to start going on the left side here. It's easier to get the boxes on the left and then come back and go to the right. Once you're able to hit all six of these boxes, you can turn around and go to the other side. You've got everything on the left side that you need to get. So with these moving platforms, jumping backwards, it's very difficult. Be decisive with your jump. As soon as you hit it, do not double jump. If you think you missed it, you missed it. But if you double jump and you're on it, you're going to miss the platform. That's a way worse way to die. See, like I almost did that right there. Okay, this walkthrough is completely insane. I've seen everyone do it on YouTube, and these people make it look so complicated. It's not that complicated. You get your first box, you come down, okay? I was too scared to get that box, I didn't bother. So you come here, you double jump, and you get that TNT above you. Then, you just move on to the end of the map, you hit that box once, and you explode all the nitros. Bounce off that box and just belly flop through those last three. And then you just come back and you end the level. The first time I saw another YouTuber play this bonus round before I played it, I shit my pants. They made it look so difficult. It's really not that hard. I don't understand why people make that look so difficult. Again here, I found it easier to slide and double jump to the middle and slide and double jump again just because I didn't have to wait for the platforms and didn't have the time for. Okay, so to our right, there's gonna be a hidden gem. Rather than jumping on that reverse platform, which is hard, go to the first platform that can fall down and just jump to your right. You're gonna find the hidden gem, and rather than having to take that platform backwards, 
you can just take it one way and I find there's less room for mistake. So you want to get this metal box as quickly as possible because then you can jump back to the middle you can jump back to the middle platform. I went to the right. Take out these four boxes and back to the middle and then back to clear those uh, mystery or those line boxes. Coming up at this checkpoint, you should have 141 boxes. I found it way easier at that time to kill the octopus than to avoid him. And that's it. If you made it to this part, smash the boxes, hit that final nitro crate to explore all that nitro. And you should have 173 of 173. Hope you guys enjoyed. If this helps, smash a like. Otherwise, peace and have a good one.